Hi, thanks for joining me today. I hope you're having a good morning, good afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And whenever you're watching this, I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to talk about the Tom Ford palette that I bought from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. Um, if you are, uh, if you haven't seen uh, one of my older videos, I had stated that I had never purchased an, a high-end um, eyeshadow palette, and then I was looking through the Nordstrom sale, um, and they had a Tom, uh, Tom Ford had an iris, bronze eye, and lip set. I believe it was around $86, um, and um, unfortunately now if you did want to purchase it, I see on Nordstrom's it is sold out. Um, but what you got with it was a full full size palette um, with four eyeshadows and two deluxe sample lip colors. So I did receive it, and I'm going to tell you what I think about it. And here, here it is. The packaging itself is gorgeous. It really is. It's a beautiful presentation. Um, and if you when you open it up, you can see inside how beautiful it is. Um, you know, I can appreciate a box like this. I really do. But for me, I would just throw this thing out. And um, I would be willing to have something a little sleeker. And um, especially if it's going to drop the price point. Because I know a lot of times you're paying for advertising the models and the, and the packaging and all that. But um, like I said, I appreciate it. It's beautiful, but I would never use this. I would just throw it out. So for me, it's a throwaway. Um, so what's inside? That's the most important thing, right? Um, again, there's two lipsticks, two deluxe size lipsticks. Um, one is Spiced Honey and one is Casablanca. And let me just show you, see if you can see these okay. This is a, it's a nude when I tried it on, it was, on me personally, it washed me out a little bit, um, but I can see if you're a nude person and you lead, lean toward the um, peaches and maybe uh, with a slight brown undertone, I could see uh, somebody that goes for that really liking this. For me, it, like I said, it washed me out. Um, if I do a nude, I like, lean toward the pinker side, so um, uh, this color I wouldn't wear. Now this other color, I think it's called Casablanca, if you can see that. This color, if you can see when you put it right next to my skin tone, it, it is a beautiful color. I really like this color. Um, I could see myself pretty much really wearing this in the fall. Um, it, it is a very beautiful color. Um, and I think it's more like a mauve, well, I don't know, a mauve rosy color. Let me just tell you, I have to say, and I don't want to say it because <laughs> I don't want it. I still can't wrap my mind around $50. But I can see why these lipsticks are so highly coveted, so to speak. Um, they are just right out the gate. So creamy. Beautiful consistency. Very moisturizing. And the color payoff was fantastic. I... Like I said, I still have a hard time wrapping myself, my head around $50 for a tube of lipstick. I still um, don't know if I would pay $50 for a lipstick, but boy, I can see why people are. I really can. And, you know, I don't know because I really didn't play around with it or wear it long enough to uh, know what the wear is on it. But just initial impressions, these are beautiful. They really, really are. I don't think I've ever really tried a lipstick uh, like this. Um, and again, I don't really buy too many high-end lipsticks either. I stick to the drugstore and mid-end, um, but they're gorgeous. So if you have them, I can see why you spend the money because it is really, really beautiful. And I'm going to have to do some more research to see if I can, like I said, wrap my head around spending $50 for lipstick. But I see why you do. Um, so let's get to the palette. Palette, here it is. Colors are really pretty. Very nice. And I think you can purchase these palettes. He has different colors. I think they're close to um, maybe $90, if I remember correctly, by looking online. Um, so what do I think of the palette? Well, I have to be honest. Um, they are very, um, they're very buttery, they're very soft, and they're very creamy. Unfortunately for me, and I don't know if it was just this particular color or not, because that does happen sometimes with eyeshadows. You buy certain, you know, a brand of eyeshadows and, and the color, depending on the color palettes, um, uh, well, the colors, they do they do sometimes um, are different as far as consistency and color payoff. But I was disappointed. 
I really was. I thought for the amount of money that I shouldn't have to go in three or four times to get an eyeshadow to show up on my eyes. So for that very reason right there, I would not buy another Tom Ford eye color palette. Now again, maybe in different colors you get more payoff, but this one particular, mm -mm. I, I, was, I was disappointed and I wouldn't spend that kind of money. And I don't have anything high-end to compare it to, but a mid-end comparison would be Too Faced or Tarte. And I have to say, I think the color payoff on those is much better for less than half of the price of this. So just from a, um, a money standpoint, which is kind of what I judge stuff in the end as far as, you know, skin, hair, makeup stuff, um, whether or not I think it's worth the dollar amount, I don't think this is worth it. So if you have the Tom Ford palette and you do use it, can you let me know if that's normal, if you have to swipe three or four times to get something to show up on your eye. Um, and again, it could just be this color, this grouping, um, but I would love to know that. As far as the lipsticks, guys, wow, they really are nice. I would have to test them out more to see if the color lasts a while. And let me know that too, if you own Tom Ford lipsticks, what you think about them. But um, they really are beautiful lipstick, they really are. So um, having said that, I did also purchase a Laura Mercier palette. Now, I have a Laura Mercier in the tin and moisturizer and I love that tin and moisturizer. It's a very beautiful tin and moisturizer. So on when I was purchasing the Tom Ford palette, I saw the Laura Mercier one. And if you are sh looking today, it's still on the website. It's $65. It's a Laura Mercier eye and cheek palette. This is what it looks like. I, pre I appreciate it. It's very minimal packaging. It's very sleek. I, get pre I appreciate that it comes in this box just gonna throw it out so I really the packaging is not a, a big thing to me um, initially when you open it I don't know if you can really see this the colors are really pretty you get um, two cheek colors I think this is either a bronzer or a glow or a glow I don't I didn't really look into it yet um, sorry about that but um, and then you get uh, eight eyeshadows now again just initially I haven't played around with this but I wanted to just let you know about it just because the sales still going um, I really, it's $65, I really think it is a pretty nice palette so far. Just running my fingers across the, um, the eyeshadows, it's, they're very, very soft and very creamy and very buttery. So we're going to see how the color payoff is on it. But um, this is a nice palette you might want to consider if you, if you wanted the Tom Ford palette and it's sold out now um, and you wanted to try Laura Mercier um, like I did. Uh, it's still available. So that's all for today. Again, let me know about Tom Ford. If you have this palette, I was disappointed at the payoff. I really was. Um, so let me know if you have a couple of his palettes, if that's typical. Um, and again, if you have their lipsticks, again, trying to wrap my head around $50, but they are really beautiful lipsticks. They, I don't think I've ever had a lipstick with that color payoff, with that consistency and creaminess before. So um, I'm going to have to do some more research on that. Uh, but again, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. And um, until next time, I will see you later. Bye, guys.